Let's make a light ray burst tutorial here in Photoshop CS6. Begin by drawing some hero in the middle. Now this could be some famous cartoon character, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to use a shape tool. And I'll just draw a nice um, polygon tool. I will draw a, a polygon tool with sides 3. So it's a triangle. So I will draw a triangle in the middle, and this is my superhero. Now to make my superhero a bit more interesting, I'm going to um, change the fill and I have a gradient fill set up there. You can play around with uh, fill and stroke settings. But let's, um, let's double click this layer and make this uh, superhero look a bit more interesting. Now I wish I could use Pokemon or Mario, but alright, uh, so let's um, add a nice bevel emboss. When I choose bevel emboss and I change the size, you have a nice triangle this way. Our superhero is tough and rugged, so I'm going to change smooth to chisel hard. All right, look at that. Look at that superhero. It reminds me of retro graphics. So I'm going to click on OK, and this is good enough for me. I will click on the Move tool to center the superhero in the middle. And just to make sure that I'm totally centered, I'm going to go to View, New Guide. My original document size was 800 by 800 pixels, so I'll choose a vertical guide of 400 px, 400 pixels. Now hold on. Control Alt Z. Okay, I just lied. I went to Image, Image Size, and I see that my document is 500 by 500. So let me let me change this to 800 by 800. Click on OK, and we see that if I go to View, New Guide. I'm going to choose 400 pixels and then view new guide choose a horizontal 400 pixels as well. I'm just going to click on the move tool or the letter V use the arrow keys to center this dead center. Now we're going to create some light rays, some kind of light ray burst effect. Create a new layer and what we'll do is we'll use the pen tool make sure the pen tool is on not on shape but on path and we'll go click and press control minus to zoom out a bit. Click, click, and close it. Okay, so we continue in a very disciplined manner. Click, click, click. Notice how I'm clicking off the screen, so which is uh, off the canvas, so it's good to zoom out a bit to do this. Click, click, click. Try to make a raise roughly. So control Alt Z if you mess up. Click in the middle. Click, Click roughly equally spaced apart and roughly equal in size. So click, 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 click. If you pay attention to the mouse cursor, you might even uh, be hinted as to when you're ready to click. Click, click, and then I'll just make a big fat one here. Click. All right, finally, within the canvas area, right click, make selection. And then with a feather setting of zero, just click on OK. So we now have all these rays selected at once. Before we forget, we might want to double click the layer and call this rays. So this rays layer, we're going to use a gradient tool. Now choose your favorite gradient color. You can remember that you can make your own custom color as well. I'll just choose this built-in nice orange yellow gradient, double click it, and click and drag. And something you might want to play around with is reversing it or not. You have a little reverse checkbox here. So we have a nice, uh, interesting effect here. And I'm going to drag this raise layer down. And then you can always go select, deselect, or control D. So we have some kind of light burst effect. You might want to even make your main char character, double click it, add some layer style. You can add a glow, an outer glow, which might look interesting. You can play around with the size here. Click on OK. And we might create a new layer at the bottom. Create a new layer, drag it to the bottom, and let's make it white. White foreground color. Let's right click, use the paint bucket tool, fill it with white just to see what it might look like more in real life. So great job, you now created a nice uh, light ray burst, and uh, you might use this uh, actually within some mobile background uh, wallpaper. You might want to rotate it using some animation software such as Flash, and uh, congratulations, this looks, this looks quite pretty.